So we want to do more or less the same thing that we usually do and define a function within this event handler, but this time we want to make a simple change and we want to supply a parameter in here uh, that we can use to access where the mouse position is at, because obviously the mouse position is uh, extremely important in this circumstance uh, with regards to where we're going to place this div. We want it to follow the mouse, therefore using E we can grab the client X and Y position which essentially is the mouse position. So let's go ahead and just bring this down uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just create a test so we know that everything's working. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just create a div on the page and this is going to be called just pause for example. Uh, this is just sort of for debugging and testing purposes, it you know, doesn't really have any other use. Uh, now we want to go in ahead and inside of our function here define the top and the left of the mouse position. So I'm going to create a variable called top and I'm going to create a variable called left and these are going to be equal to e dot and then we're going to access the, uh, the you know sort of like a, um, a method inside of this object and the first one is client y. Uh, this is essentially the y position which is obviously um, the vertical position uh, so we want to know how far from the top the mouse is which is this value here and then with regards to the left we want to get the x position because we want to know how far it is on the uh, horizontal or x axis so now what we can do is we can feed into this div that I've created called pos uh, and we can apply uh, these values to this so we'll get a sort of dynamically updating uh, value so I'm going to say top plus and then just a space and then left so now what's going to happen is when we move our mouse, we're going to grab the top and the left constantly. So every time the mouse is moved up or down or left or right or vertically, we're going to grab these two values and then just apply them to this pause div. Uh, so now what you should see is these values change. You can see underneath my cursor here and underneath the link, uh, you see them changing. So now that we have these values here, we can determine where to place this div uh, that we've created uh, or defined in here. Uh, and that we've actually applied to the document by uh, putting it after the, the link. So uh, now that we've just seen that in action we can go ahead and get rid of that div uh, and get rid of this line as well. Uh, the only problem here is is that we want to space this a bit further away from the mouse cursor. We don't want it to be too close to the cursor because obviously uh, it's going to get in the way and it's going to cause some problems. So I'm going to add 10 uh, to each of these values and that will just space it sort of 10 pixels below uh, where the cursor is and 10 pixels across from where the uh, from where the cursor is. Okay so uh, now what we want to go ahead and do is okay so yeah what we want to do is we want to uh, go ahead and apply the position that we've gained here plus 10 so we want to move this div accordingly so you've seen that we could update the values inside that div I created just under here but now we want to do is actually apply um, the position of uh, this here accordingly now this is would be the same as applying say top as 10 pixels uh, and left as say 10 pixels uh, it could be absolutely anything the values could be anything but we can use jQuery to automatically update uh, CSS so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and reference the uh, hover text um, div, which is hover text. Remember the ID of this is hover text, so we use a hash to reference the name. Uh, and then we want to say .css. And in here we can set top to a particular value here. Uh, and then we can do CSS again to set the left to a particular uh, value here. And obviously this, this value here and this value here we have already gained uh, dynamically depending on where the mouse is. So we can just substitute these in. So I can write top here and I can go ahead and write left here. And now that we've done that we have another slight problem and that is that we haven't actually shown this div yet. So what we want to do is we want to just put show on the end of it uh, and that will change the uh, display none uh, to actually display it. So let's take a look at the uh, the code. You can see now at the moment we have uh, another problem. Um, I mean, the one thing is uh, that this div is now following our cursor, uh, but we obviously haven't applied any text to it yet, so it's uh, pretty much useless. So what we want to go ahead and do is uh, just before we show it, is apply some text. 
uh, and that text in here could be absolutely anything but we're substituting in a variable and that variable is title remember the variable that we gained from our link earlier so now when we refresh we can see that we have the uh, div hovering over um, you'll probably notice that the tooltip is actually getting in the way of this but there's a way that we can deal with that uh, and we'll go through that in a moment now the first problem that we're going to solve is when we move away from the link the div actually remains so it's uh, really quite annoying and useless I mean you wouldn't want to put that on your site so what we do is after we've um, after we've used this mouse move event handler we want to come down here and say dot mouse out and create a new function so function in here is going to be let's just pull that down uh, the function in here is going to be when the mouse comes away from the particular element and in this case all we really want to do is just go ahead and hide the hover text div uh, so when the mouse comes away from it it's hidden and it doesn't remain on the page so hide like that so we've shown it here when the mouse goes in and it's being moved around but when the mouse comes out we want to hide this so it's quite simple really if you think about it so now when we come away you see it just hides so we can sort of flicker over it uh, and it will show itself and hide itself so mouse move it's being shown and mouse away it's being hidden okay now the uh, last problem that we sort of have to deal with is the fact that we get this uh, HTML default tooltip uh, appear now I took the time to personally research this and how we might be able to disable uh, this tooltip coming up which default comes up when you supply a title 